We are here at day two of uh, Teardown here in Portland, which is Crowd Supplies, amazing event of hackers and, uh, well, Electromage, Electromage wizards as well. Um, so, addressable LEDs are something that are a lot of fun, but there is a certain level of complexity to them. Um, and quite some time ago on the Electromaker show, we covered something called the Pixel Blaze, which really reduces that level of complexity and adds a lot of live control to LEDs, which is something that is usually found more in the live coding music and live coding VJing and visuals world. Um, I'm joined by Claire, who's going to take us through the uh, Pixel Blaze and uh, a few of the ideas surrounding opening up uh, addressable LEDs to everybody. So, Claire, firstly, thank you so much for chatting to me. Um, what? Well, let's start with something simple. What is Pixel Blaze and what dif makes it different from similar kind of ideas for LED controllers? Absolutely. Um, I like to say pretty often that it's not exactly what you do, but it's how you do it. And so on the surface, the hardware of the Pixel Blaze is just an ESP32 and some components that make running LEDs smoother, better, you're not gonna blow your power out, we've protected you from yourself in many ways. But otherwise it's a relatively simple hardware and in the crowd supply campaign we did, we actually open sourced the hardware so you can go find those files. Um, the board itself, is very small. Mm -hmm. You get the standard, which is this bigger one, mm -hmm. and the Pico, which has become very popular mm -hmm. uh, for wearables. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the hardware and you know anything about hardware, you're like, what's special about that? It's um, not only relatively elegantly simple hardware, mm -hmm. it's our software that people have become um, a robust community around. It's, um, it's rather evocative in part because of the live code immediate gratification aspect. So to look at that, um, I have this matrix hooked up to this, which is the UI of the Pixel Blaze. This is the library of patterns that it comes with and because we're all hugely nerdy LED wizards, we um, have designed, I think, all the best patterns you can get already, and so those just come with the controller. So if you want something plug and play, it fills that need. Um, but if you want to um, go into it more deeply, you can pick a pattern, live updates, and you can hit edit, and this is actually a subset of JavaScript, a smaller library. Um, all of the docs for it are underneath each editor. You could teach yourself this library in a day. And it's importantly not C++. Not to be biased, I know I'm going to get yelled at, but I think this is better. Uh, it's also a little more friendly to a wider audience. Um, so <clears throat> part of the appeal of the Pixel Blaze is that it crosses a wide range of use cases. You have um, that plug and play aspect, you have that coding aspect. We have a lot of software people that are first getting into hardware who love this. Um, and then if you do want to go deeper and really want to do complex things with it, it allows for that. And we're constantly iterating to give, we're gonna do a brightness pots board soon. We're doing breakout boards. There's a sensor board with everything you might want. There's an output expander for large art. Everything from small LED work to large LED work. We're encompassing all of that. And um, personally, I'm passionate about explaining addressable LEDs to people because um, I know that they are a doorway through the gatekeeping of tech. People really love LEDs, and even if they don't want to know technical jargon, they want to know about LEDs. It has that draw, right? And so I like to, all the time, draw people into technical space with LEDs. And the Pixel Blaze is an ideal uh, small step by small step way of doing that where you start with something that's friendly and then you can just get curiouser and curiouser as you go mm. um, that's why it has such a robust community that has started doing it their own things there's a public library of patterns that you can go download mm. and it's being added to m weekly mm. um, right now um, yeah, that's what comes to mind. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, one, uh, one of the things uh, to touch on uh, that you just mentioned is that this, this idea of there are more people who want to get into using LEDs that already have the technical background, perhaps, to, to do it. Um, and as well as actually having you know, this hardware and having the, uh, the in-browser way of learning, um, teaching people in a, in a sort of, not necessarily one-to-one, -one, but in a local basis, how you can do this without them feeling that they have to um, enroll in some kind of course or uh, deal with a huge amount of technical jargon. It's something that you personally are quite passionate about as well, isn't it? Because yes. um, you were mentioning before that one of the things you've been doing is trying to spread this knowledge on a local basis with groups of people. Is it something you want to chat about briefly? Yeah, we can. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have 
I joined the Pixelbase team because it's been a controller that I've used to, I wouldn't say teach people exactly, because mm. I'm an engineer, not a teacher, and I think that line is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do cr like to create space, both physical and interpersonal, where people get to be curious. Mm -hmm somewhat safer technical space, um, which because I come from a non-technical background, I think I have more of an affinity for. Um, that's all complex and philosophical, but what it looks like is I run an all femme and queer led electronics camp once a year. Uh, we've spread to our larger local community. We do pop-ups. Um, we teach people how to solder. We teach people how to lock pick, and we do it all in a passive, you can come hang out in the space for hours with your friends, chat, and do that if you want to kind of way. Um, addressable LEDs are a perfect medium, I believe, um, to add to that, to draw people in. Um, we all, we want sensory experiences. Um, I like to call it the AV club, where people are drawn in by either visual LEDs or audio synths. Mm. Those are the initial touchstones. Um, I, I just focus on luring people into tech space with that all the time. Absolutely, yeah. Um, which actually brings us perfectly on to, uh, to the, the next thing I want to chat about, because um, the Pixel Blaze in itself, the version 3, which is what I've covered before, already strips a huge amount of complexity away from the engineering side, as we've already talked about. But that still leaves somewhat of uh, a hardware proficiency requirement. Yet, um, there is a new version of the Pixel Blaze that has uh, just come out now, right? Which uh, completely removes that need for any kind of hardware proficiency, which of course is essential. Do you want to speak on the newest version of the Pixel Blaze briefly? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. So um, in kind of in line with everything I've outlined philosophically, we are, we could do many things right now. We, we're we an extremely popular product. Um, we are being asked to make a variety of add-on boards, but the thing we focused on was making a solderless Pixel Blaze controller, um, and that's this right here. We have a JST um, and uh, a custom JST and a cable mm -hmm. that we have a variety of so you can connect to your APAs, your SKs, your uh, 2812s, mm -hmm. whatever your pin configuration is rather easily. And this, just this barrier of not having to solder a screw terminal mm -hmm. um, is quite a big deal for both uh, introductory people and experts alike. Uh, and we just got that up for teardown, so I'm rather excited about it. You can find it in our shop. Um, and now I'm going to be running some of our uh, more public facing efforts mm -hmm. and um, trying to spread this to a wider audience. So we're at a pretty exciting stage. Absolutely. And you mentioned as well uh, to sort of celebrate the launch of the newer one that um, if people are interested in getting their hands on the new solderless version, there is a discount in your store uh, uh, currently running for quite a while, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I joined the team, we added a referral code for me that is 10% off your entire Electromage order, mm -hmm. which if you think it out ahead of time is a rather big deal, yeah. and that's why I pushed for that. <laughs> um, and that will be running somewhat indefinitely while I um, promote Pixelblaze stuff, mm -hmm. so it's a great deal. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, and uh, as I mentioned, we already covered Pixel Blaze uh, in the past. If you want to know anything about Pixel Blaze or the new version of it and get your hands on one, there will be links uh, under this video in the accompanying blog post to it. Um, anywhere we usually put links. Um, but yeah, Claire, thank you so much for giving your time today. And this is one of the things that I'm really happy I finally got to, to, to meet uh, because Pixel Blaze is one of those ones that tickles all the right boxes for me as someone who's been into live coding audio. Yes. And like anyone respectable, I love LEDs as well. Yes. So yeah, thank you so much for giving me your time today. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.